Russell Gagan here from Russell's Fishing Tech. I'm out on the water. It's a beautiful April day here. We're doing some brown trout chasing. Um, and what I wanted to show you today was, I talk a lot in my videos about like the pump handle rods. And then the other variation of that is our inline sinkers. And we can use these inline sinkers for spring browns. Real productive for that. We can use it for, you know, out deep fishing for steelhead. You can also use it for up high spring cohos. So basically this is what an inline sinker setup is. It's just an inline kind of, uh, some guys call it a torpedo weight, I call it an inline weight. Just sort of a, a small sinker. I like really, really small ones. Uh, in the spring for browns, this is a quarter ounce. These are hard to find, but we do sell them at our store. Um, and then I use more of like a half ounce or a one ounce offshore for steelhead. But we got this, the uh, sinker part here. And then I've got about an eight foot meter or so to our, our bait and we've got a 15 pound mono leader here and we're using one of the salmon candy mini spoons we just caught a fish on this so i figured it was a great time to do the video it's got a nice brown on the steely candy gold salmon candy spoon i'm just going to show you what we're going to do so all we're doing with this setup here is we're just letting this out behind the a board so i'm going to go ahead and get that weight out until it hits the water like that then hit the reset button and this one was out 27 feet it was the middle board so I'm going to put this back out 27 feet. You got to kind of do it up slowly because the uh, the water's pretty shallow, and if you let them out too fast, they'll be in the bottom. So I'm going to let this out slow. Fish, 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 fish! fish. Yep, I got one going here. We'll, we'll keep going. So we're fighting that fish. So I, we're going to have to wait. Clark's got one going now. Um, so I'm going to reel this rod in. So our in our inside inline weight rod out 33. Just took off with that fish there. I don't know if he got off, but we still got him. He's on there, yeah. He's on. on there. Yep. So this is a an inline weight, 33 out. Okay. Back up. Yep. A little brown trout. On an inline weight stuff. Great eater for the grill, salmon candy, Wonder Wolverine gold spoon. So we'll do a little redo there while Clark's taking care of that. Clark made it easy on me. I'm not going to have to slide the board around. So we'll go back to get this weight in the water, hit the reset button. We'll set this back out 27 feet. Clark's going to turn us a little to the left. We're getting out a little deep. Got that out 27 feet on the line corner. Gonna get the board set on here. We're gonna get that one going out. We're gonna kind of let that go out on its own, kind of slowly. And then we're gonna get the summer rod that Clark just caught the fish on, on the Wonder Wolverine here, which has been hot this morning. Mini salmon candy spoon. And this one was out on the inside at 33 feet. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get this to where it hits the water line like that. Hit the reset button on the line counter. And let that one out to 33. And we're at 33 on the line counter there. So, get that one hooked on. And we'll get that one working its way out. So we talk a lot about versatility in my videos and whether you've got pump handle rods set up for king salmon fishing or you've got walleye gear you want to just double up which is what we're using today at clark's walleye rods inline sinkers can catch a ton of fish for you uh, not only spring brown spring coals but summer steelhead good luck fishing